The 2014 911 Turbo and Turbo S are here, and if you expect them to simply be a facelift to last year's, you would be wrong. Porsche keeps pushing the envelope. I'm Michelle Rahal with The Drive Channel and thedrivechannel.com. Porsche is celebrating its 40th anniversary of the turbocharged 911, now known as the Type 991. Evolution of the entire 911 series has taken on Charles Darwin on acid status. When you compare the 930 Turbo of the 70s to the new 911 Turbo S, it's evident that technology and purpose of build is something the Germans have down to a science. The original 930 Turbo put a lot of people in the ditch, and I do mean a lot. We rebuilt one in the early 80s, shipped off the heads to Andial, rebuilt the transmission, whatever you could do to the car. I remember testing this car for the first time. I shipped it from first to second while changing lanes. It wouldn't turn. The front wheels were off the ground. This car was fast and harder to drive than you can imagine. It was a brute. Well, if it was a brute, then today's 911 Turbo, and particularly the S model, is a refined but still brutish supercar that you can drive every day. But it's changed, as these cars always do. Taking its cue from the GT3 program, the transmission is now only available in PDK, a re-geared and remapped PDK, not as sharp and harsh as the GT3, but right there every time you shift. Couple that with a flat six twin turbo engine that in the S model develops 560 horsepower, and you've got what it takes for speed. But they don't stop there. This car is 1.5 inches wider than the 2013 Carrera S4, and that is a hell of a wide car. It's got the suspension that you'd expect from the edge-pushing Germans in that it has rear-wheel steering, a lightweight chassis, carbon ceramic brakes on the S model, and Porsche Dynamic Control, giving the driver more handling choices. The wheelbase is 100 millimeters longer than the last model, and the wheels are 20-inch monsters. The all-wheel drive system that they employ is actually water-cooled now to deliver rapid torque reassignment to the front wheels as needed for conditions. All of this technology, along with the PDK system, can push the Turbo S model from 0 to 62 in 3.1 seconds. The aerodynamics of this car are exactly what you'd expect. It's an active aerodynamic system that has a retractable three-stage front-end spoiler that interacts with the three-stage rear spoiler. In different modes, it changes to suit whatever style of driving you choose, right down to giving the rear spoiler an attack mode. A lot of downforce. The Turbo S comes with center lock wheels as well. The interior is from the Carrera S family and it looks beautiful. I can remember how stark the 930 was. Well, not anymore. What's this new machine group going to cost? For the Turbo, the base is $184,000 US dollars. The Turbo S is a whopping $220,000 US dollars. Well, compared to the competition, it could be a bargain. If ever I find myself in the position to own a car at this level, the Turbo S is my choice over everything else in its class. Supercar performance with a car that you can drive every day. What's not the love? For the Drive Channel and thedrivechannel.com, I'm Michelle Rahal. I'll see you next time.